You spend a lot of time in your email, and you also spend a lot of time in District 360 keeping your data up to date. With a simple Chrome browser extension, you can bring these two together to view and work with your contacts and other data without having to constantly switch back and forth between Gmail and District 360. This feature is extremely helpful for keeping your contact and stakeholder communications data up to date and adding important communications and attachments to people and businesses in your CRM. No more fishing around through hundreds of emails to find that one email. Instead, they're easily accessible right inside your database. This is also helpful because these communications can both inform other members of your organization of conversations that have been occurring, as well as remind you of previous communications with contacts and stakeholders that you might have forgotten. To get started, be sure that you're logged into District 360 and go to the cog or gear icon at the top right and select Setup. Then enter Gmail in the Quick Find box and select Gmail Integration and Sync. Enable Gmail integration by clicking the toggle from gray to blue. Next, you'll want to go to the Chrome Web Store. Here we go to the browser menu, the three stacked buttons at the top right corner of Chrome, and choose More Tools and then Extensions. This takes you to a page that shows all of your current extensions, but to get to the store, click on the menu at the top left, and all the way at the bottom, you'll see an option to open the Chrome Web Store. Click on this. The other and perhaps faster option is to simply type Chrome Web Store into your browser and it should be the first option that pops up. In the Web Store, enter Salesforce into the search box and select the option that looks like this. Then click the Add to Chrome button right here and confirm that yes, you want to add the extension when this box pops up. You'll notice that a little blue Salesforce cloud icon briefly appears at the top of your browser window and then may disappear. If you want to pin this extension, click on the icon up here that looks like a puzzle piece and navigate to the Salesforce extension and click the pin next to it. Now it will remain at the top of your browser. Next, go to your Gmail and either log in or refresh the page. You should now see a Salesforce pane appear on the right side. But if it doesn't, click on the small blue Salesforce icon extension above. You'll then need to log into your Salesforce District 360 account over here in this pop-up window. Once the connection is established, you'll see your District 360 data displayed in the pane on the right side of your Gmail account. One of the most valuable aspects of this extension is that it will identify contacts in your email that are not yet in District 360. Contacts that are not in District 360 will have a button labeled Add to Salesforce, so you can enter the contact without even leaving your email. Click the button and then select New Contact and fill in the necessary details. Once you check to be sure that all the information is accurate, hit Save and it will be added to your District 360 CRM. To log an email to a contact record, when the email is open, the Salesforce extension will recommend records based on the email address of the sender. If the email is the same as the contact record in your CRM, it will recommend that individual. If you want to log the email to another object, simply type the name in the search field and choose the one you want. Emails can be logged to as many contacts as you want, but only to one other object. You can also choose whether or not you want the attachment included on the records in your CRM as well. Now we're going to go into District 360 and look for the email we just associated with these records and we'll also check for the contact that we created. You'll see all logged emails in the activity panel on the right side of the screen. Now we'll check for the second record that we associated with the email. And remember, we actually added this contact to District 360 while we were in our Gmail. So here we see the contact that we added while we were in our Gmail into District 360 and the email that we logged associated with it here on the right side along with the attachment. So that's how to connect your Salesforce District 360 CRM with your Gmail, keeping your data up to date, your organization informed, and your previous email exchanges with stakeholders easily accessible.